now let me discuss about the acute gout right let me discuss about the acute gout remember this particular acute gout it is manifested as a severe inflammation of the joints all right this is manifested as severe inflammation of the joints and the first joint which is affected is the first metatarsophalangeal joint and why there is severe inflammation of the joints in these patients with the acute gout is this is mainly due to the precipitation of uric acid crystals right this is mainly due to precipitation of the uric acid crystals within the joint these individuals will have a very severe inflammation now remember what we give in acute gout NSAIDs, colchicin and as well as the corticosteroids now the NSAIDs like indomethacin right NSAIDs like indomethacin this is the drug of choice why this is the drug of choice because okay this is the drug of choice because it has better tolerability right this is having a better tolerability but remember NSAIDs like aspirin right NSAIDs like aspirin this should not be given in these patients with the acute gout why aspirin should not be given because aspirin will cause hyperuricemia right aspirin will cause hyperuricemia so that is the reason why aspirin is not used now we have another drug which is called as tolmetin this is also an NSI and tolmetin this is not effective right this is not effective in the treatment of the gout or the acute gouty attack now apart from this particular NSAIDs we have the other group of drugs which are called as the colchicin now you take this particular colchicin colchicin as such this is a very effective drug right colchicin this is a more effective and as well as even the fast acting right as well as the fast acting compared to that of the NSAIDs but this is used rarely due to its high toxicity right this is used rarely due to high toxicity right due to high toxicity this is rarely used now how do it how does this act remember this drug will act by inhibiting right this drug will act by inhibiting the migration of right inhibit inhibiting the migration of the granulocyte to the inflamed joint right it inhibits the chemotaxis right because the granulocytes once they reach the inflamed joint they will further release the inflammatory mediators that will increase the pain of the individual so the mechanism of action of this particular colchicin is it acts by inhibiting the granulocyte migration to the inflamed joint now there are two indications for daily use of this colchicin right there are two indications for daily use of this particular colchicin now what are these two indications is number one to prevent the further attacks we have to give this daily right to prevent the further attacks we give this particular colchicin daily and the second reason why we give this is this colchicin it should be given along with urate lowering therapy to suppress the attacks precipitated by abrupt changes in the serum uric acid right this should be given right colchicin should be given along with urate lowering drug why we have to give along with the urate lowering drug 
mainly to suppress the attacks which is precipitated by abrupt changes in the serum uric acid. All right. Now, so NSAIDs, they are very good drugs. Colchicine, they are effective and fast acting, but we don't give very, very commonly because of high toxicity. Now, in refractory cases, right, you have given NSAIDs, the pain did not subside. You have given colchicine, also the pain did not subside. So remember, in case of refractory cases, Remember, in case of refractory cases, what we give is intra-articular corticosteroids. Right, intra-articular corticosteroids, these are given in case of refractory cases. Alright, now, apart from this particular intra-articular corticosteroids, colchicine and as well as NSAIDs, we have another group of drugs which are used in the management of acute gout. They are nothing but interleukin-1 inhibitors. And this interleukin-1 inhibitors, what are the examples are? We have what is called as Anakinra. Right, we have what is called as the Anakinra. Then we have Kanaki Numab. Right, Kanaki Numab. This is also an interleukin 1 inhibitor, and the other drug is Relona Sept. Right, the other drug is Relona Sept. These have been shown the efficacy for the management of acute gout. But these drugs, some of these drugs, they still require the FDA approval for giving in case of acute gout. Alright. So in what exactly is the acute gout? This is mainly due to the severe inflammation of the joints due to precipitation of the uric acid crystals within the joints. And the drugs which are given are the mainly the NSAIDs like the indomethacin which is a drug of choice which is having a better tolerability and aspirin should never be given because it will further increase the uric acid levels and tolmitin this is not effective uh, NSAID in the treatment of acute gout. And the other drug which is effective and fast acting is colchicine. But this is rarely used because of high toxicity. And what this colchicine will do is it will inhibit the migration of the granulocyte to the inflamed joint. And there are two indications for daily use of colchicine that is to prevent the further attacks. And the colchicine should be given along with the urate lowering drug in order to prevent the abrupt uh, attacks due to change in the uric acid levels. In refractory cases what we give is the intra-articular corticosteroids and the newly approved drugs the further treatment of the acute gout is the interleukin 1 inhibitors that includes the anakinra, the kanaki nubab and as well as relona sept.